God, I have to pee. <laughs> What's going on, guys? So today I am going to bring you something that's going to ring in this little itty bitty season that we have coming up right in. Today I'm going to be making a vegan pot pie. So I made this recipe last year, um, and now I'm actually going to make it completely vegan. It was just vegetarian last year, but I only have to change like one thing to make it vegan, so I'm really stoked about this. I have it all written here in my little recipe book that I keep tabs on every so often uh, whenever I create something and it actually turns out good. This is one of my favorite original recipes, and I'm really stoked to share it with you guys. I'll have the entire recipe in the description box below. Um, if you guys like fall foods, give this video a thumbs up. And this is my first video with uh, food in it, so I'm really excited. Food is like my life. So if you guys want to see more food videos from me, then go ahead and click the subscribe button. And if you want to get notified every single time I make a new video, hit that little ring a ding a ding bell. And then that way you'll get a notification to your phone and it'll tell you whenever I uploaded a video. Technology! It's fantastic. So before we get started, um, I always like to tell people to wash their veggies before they start with it, whether it's organic or if you just want to go ahead and get the conventional type. Totally fine. It's completely up to you. I'm judging, but you should always wash your veggies, always. So, with that being said, let's get to the cooking. Maybe I should have left it open before, oh, there it is. So let's go over the ingredients. Yellow onion, carrots, red potatoes, either some small ones like these or one large one, white mushrooms, you're actually going to be removing the stems. Peas, either frozen or canned. This is just what we had on hand. Fresh parsley. Fresh sage. Fresh thyme. And I guess you could say I had a Quite a lot of time on my hands. Mm -hmm. Some vegan butter. We use Earth Balance, but there are plenty of other brands out there. Puff pastry from Pepperidge Farm. They actually verified that this is vegan on their website. Soy or almond milk. You just want to make sure that it is plain. Vegetable broth. It's not necessary to have it low sodium. Salt and pepper to taste. Fresh garlic or garlic powder. And if you're using garlic powder, just remember that an eighth of a teaspoon equals one clove. You're also going to be needing one tablespoon of white vinegar and a quarter cup of all purpose flour. So let's start prepping. Keep in mind that I'm going to have the complete recipe in the description box below if you need measurements for everything. oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 205 degrees Celsius. Over medium heat you're going to melt your butter and then add your veggies and then season with salt and pepper. While that's cooking you're going to start prepping your potatoes and your mushrooms. Your potatoes should be about the size of half of an inch to maybe an inch. Your mushrooms should be about the same size as your potatoes as well too. And don't worry if you think that they look too big because they're going to end up shrinking down once they get cooked. After about five to seven minutes, your onions should start looking translucent. 
This is about the time that you should start adding your potatoes and your mushrooms. Then you're going to cover your pan and move on to cutting your herbs. A little trick that I do whenever I cut herbs is I pull down on the stems and kind of even them all up in the palm of my hand. Then I can cut off the end of the stems and kind of roll it all together into this bundle as you guys can see here. my knife through it a few more times until I have the right size that I was looking for. For the sage we're actually going to be doing a chef and nod cut. This is achieved by layering your leaves together with the largest on the outside and the smallest on the inside and then you roll it up into what looks like a uh, <clears throat> well you know what I'm talking about <laughs> and then you just want to cut some thin strips out of it and it's going to create these nice long ribbons. Actually a little bit too long for what I was looking for so I just took my knife horizontally and then cut it in half. So for fresh thyme all you have to do is just pull the stem through your fingers the opposite way of the growth of the leaves. Uh, hopefully that makes some sense once you guys can see me doing it here. If you have some little stems in your bunch it's okay if it gets in there but try and limit it as much as possible. And uh, it does take some uh, time, if you will, but fresh herbs are totally worth it. Once your potatoes have softened and your mushrooms have started to release their liquid, season with salt and pepper and then take your flour, except for about a tablespoon, and dust the top of your veggies. Once your flour is well incorporated, then add your vegetable broth and your milk alternative. After about 8 to 10 minutes, your sauce should be thickened. If it hasn't, go ahead and add a slurry. seasoned with salt and pepper, add your peas, then add all of your herbs. Once everything's well incorporated, go ahead and add your white vinegar. This is going to help brighten up the dish and make everything come together. Then once more with salt and pepper and then remove the pan from heat. Take your baking dish and grease it with your vegan butter. Then you're going to take your puff pastry and roll it out to the size of your pan. If you have any holes or tears in your puff pastry, simply fold it over itself, take your rolling pin and flatten it out to seal. Put your puff pastry in the bottom of your pan. Kind of stretch it out just so that way you can make sure it has a nice fit. Then you're going to take your filling and fill up your pie. Once your pie is filled, you're going to take your other sheet of puff pastry and place it on top. After making sure all the edges are nice and sealed, you're going to take a fork and then crimp the edges. Mm -hmm. 
Then you're gonna remove the excess with a pair of clean scissors. Be sure to make some slits in the top so that way the steam can help release. And then take your vegan butter that has been softened and just rub it on the top of your pie. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, again, give it a thumbs up if you want to see more like this. Hit the subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And hit that bell so that way you know whenever I upload something new. I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving and let me know how it turned out. Thanks guys. Hope you have a wonderful fall and I hope you will be eating this for dinner soon. I should probably go. Ah.